Hi everyone, this is podcast number one, uh, and uh, my first topic um, that I'm going to cover today um, is uh, Dropbox. Um, first of all, I'd just like to, um, since it's my first podcast, just give you uh, some overview of what's going on um, with this podcast. Uh, well, I've been um, I've been working on my website for about a year now. Um, actually, it's been a year in January, and um, I'm sure you're aware of this website. What I'm doing is I'm publishing um, freeware and open source software um, that I've tested that I find useful. And um, every second day or so, I will, you know, I got a new program um, for you to uh, look at. And um, yeah, I've been doing this for a year. So um, I've been um, quite busy with this. Um, it's very time consuming, but I really enjoy doing it. And uh, sometimes using a program is, it's not unless you play with them, um, it, it it's really complicated sometimes. And I thought that making this podcast um, would help people, uh, would help you guys, and uh, finding it easier to use the different programs. So I'm going to pick, every week I'm going to pick like uh, three programs. Um, I'm going to, tr- what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to backtrack uh, from the beginning uh, of my uh, posts. So... A year ago, let's say January 2010, I think that's when I uh, first published Dropbox. So I'm 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 gonna slowly try to catch up with uh, today uh, up uh, up until now anyway. So let's uh, jump into our topic, um, Dropbox. What is Dropbox? Well, Dropbox is a file synchronization solution. Um, this is very, very nice. Um, this I've been using this program for about, well, at least a year now. It is uh, very convenient. It is free. It uh, makes, uh, make, makes it easy to share files between computers. The screen you're seeing right now is um, the different accounts available f- uh, for Dropbox. Uh, I'm using the free version, and uh, it's been working really well for me. There are some professional accounts, uh, which will give you 50 gigabyte of storage at for 9.99 a month, and then the uh, 100 gigabyte uh, for 20 dollars a month. Um, like I said, this two gigabyte version worked for me because all I'm sharing are um, smaller documents and sometimes pictures and stuff that I want to move, let's say, from home to work or vice versa. Um, It's real-time synchronization. So if you add a file to your Dropbox, it will sync. And next time you, let's say, go to work, you will have the file on that computer. So the way it works, you download the program from the main website at dropbox.com and uh, it will ask you to create an account. Um, do so, enter your email and your password, and then you're, you're in. Um, what you're gonna see when you first uh, start your Dropbox, it will ask you, you know, uh, do you wanna share a file? It'll ask you which file you wanna share. Uh, but by default, um, you're gonna see here in the system tray uh, a, a box and uh, which is Dropbox you can right click on it and open the Dropbox folder which is located in your uh, documents so called my Dropbox so everything you put in here will be synchronized and uh, will be available for you to to see on any other computer where Dropbox is installed so the way um, the way this work is that you need to be connected to the internet. Obviously, you need to be connected to your Dropbox account. And if I let's say I will take um, 
I'm just going to show let's say I'm going to take this program here called ipuis.exe. I'm putting it here. It's already synchronized. So if I go to work, I uh, install Dropbox on my, let's say, work computer, and I log on to my account, it will download all the files, um, which will be available. Um, it is very, very nice. It's a... Uh, I've been enjoying this very much. Um, what? Okay, what next? Um, okay, so we've covered this. Now, let's say you want to share certain things with certain people. It is a nice feature. Um, you go on the web and in your browser, you log on in the Dropbox and you go to your home folder. This is the exact same file you just saw on the uh, in my my documents here on my computer. Well, uh, it is available online as well, so you don't even need to have Dropbox installed on a certain computer to access a certain file. Let's say I'm going to click on um, let's say this file here. Um, there you go. Well, you can't see very much. There, let's, there you go. This is the logo for my uh, website. Um, so all files are available online. And uh, what's really neat is, I'm going to try to zoom so you can see here. Um, there's a sharing icon here. So let's say you want to share a certain folder just with one person. Um, what you do is um, oh, I'm just going to zoom back out here. So you click on share folder and uh, you, you, you have here I'm just going to try to zoom it properly here so you see okay anyway um, so you create the name of the folder you'd like to uh, share so Dropbox shared and you click next and you click um, send an email of someone you would like to uh, send this to So you enter the email address and you say share folder. So now you've got a, a folder that's going to be shared with that person. And you can start uploading stuff to it. You can uh, delete files. And that person will have only access to this specific folder. Um, so that's one way of doing it. Um, the other way of doing it is if you go back to your main um account okay oh see here actually that's something that I uh, I didn't even know it shows you all the computers where um, this account has been uh, synced with okay um so I'm going to click back on Dropbox here, okay? And um, the other way of sharing a folder is, let's say I want to share my photos. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to share folder. And it's the same process we just went through, except you've marked the folder to be shared and enter the email of the person that uh, will have access to this. And once it's done, the person will receive an email with a link and uh, the person will only have access to your photos. So this is actually really neat. Um, I've actually never had to try this feature personally, um, but I've heard it works really, really well. And um, I think that's pretty much it for um, Dropbox. I think I've covered pretty much all um, aspects of the program. Um, 
yeah. So I mean, it's it's free. You can uh, certainly, uh, um, if you decide to upgrade this subscription, if you want more space, um, they have that option as well.